Welcome aboard for a quick look at the three times table. Now for this activity, it would be amazing if you had what we call concrete materials. They're basically like cubes or counters. Uh, it could be Lego, it could be Duplo, whatever it is. But if you don't have it, don't worry. You can just get yourself bits of paper and cut them up into cubes. Now, before I look at a times table, I always like to go right back to the symbol for multiply, sometimes known as times, and actually ask, what does it mean? Multiply really means to make an exact copy of something or an exact duplicate of something. So, for example, if this is my box and anything I put in the box multiplies, I've got one here, I multiply, I make an exact copy. Now I've got two squares in the box. If I was to multiply those squares, I get two more. And of course, I can multiply by a specific number of times. So for example, if I was to multiply the box by three, it means we'd get one, two, three copies of the exact same thing. So if that's clear enough, let's start to look at the three times table. Now this is where the cubes come in handy. We can look at three times one or three multiplied by one. It means we've got three cubes here. Three times one, one group of three, three. But if I go to three times two, it means I've got two groups of three or three add three. If I move up to three times three. Now I've got three groups of three, which is actually three add three add three. So I can kind of zoom out and you look at it there, what do you notice? What's happening here? You might have spotted, you might have spotted this repeat addition. Do you see this? We've got three, three add three, three add three add three. What would three times four be? Could you build it? Pause the video, have a go. Did you definitely pause it? Yeah, have you done it? Right, let's have a look then. Does it look like that? <laughs> three, add three, add three, add three. Three, four times. That's kind of where that word times comes into multiply. Now, if you've got lots and lots of cubes, you could try to build the whole three times table from three times one all the way up to three times 10. And if you don't have the cubes, actually don't worry, you could even maybe draw it. You could use a whole piece of A4, maybe split it into two lines. So feel free to pause the video, give that a go. However, if you're like, I, I get that, I understand that, I need to move on. I've got a wee bit of a, a weird thing to do next. Now, the reason I use cubes a lot in maths is because it's a really good way to get a great conceptual understanding of number. That means you, you don't just remember facts, you actually know what's going on. And a good way to do that, believe it or not, with the three times table is to think, what does it feel like? Pick up three cubes. Put them in your hand. Close your eyes tightly. Mm, yeah, really tightly. Now, what does three actually feel like? How can you move that about in your hand? How much space does it take up in your hand? Now multiply it by two, get yourself another three cubes. So we've got six all together now. What does six feel like? How much space does that take up? What about nine? What even about 15? Can you move them about easily in your hand or does it get quite difficult? Again, a good one to give a go. If you want to play a wee game with it, maybe mum, dad, carer, brother, sister, whoever might be around with you. You know what you can do? You can get one of you to close your eyes and the person puts in a multiple of three. So three, six, nine, twelve, whatever. And you have to try and guess what you're holding in your hand. You could do that a few times. See who wins. Now, building from that idea of repeat addition and what number feels like, we can actually start to look at something called an array. It's a way to actually picture a times table fact or a group of numbers. So I've got the problem here, three times two. Well, really, it means three groups of two. Three groups of two. And now having laid it out like that, three groups of two. So I've got one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two. So I can actually find the answer now just by counting up those dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three times two is six. Now I've got this problem. Three times four means three groups of four. So again, I can lay it out like this. Three groups of four. Right. One. Group of four, two groups of four, 
three groups of four. And then to find the answer, I can just count up the dots. Now, I don't have to count them up individually. I can even count them up in threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. Three times four is twelve. I'll do one more for you. I've got three times six. Do you remember, how else could we look at that problem? What else could we say? Three gr groups of six. So three groups of six. Okay. Now I need to draw it in. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one group of six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two groups of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Three groups of six. Now to find the answer, I could count them up individually. Or if I'm getting good at counting in threes, I could try that. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Three times six is eighteen. So now over to you. Pause the video around about now and can you draw these arrays? We've got three times two, three times five, three times three, and three times seven. Remember, the way we're looking at it is it's three groups of two, three groups of five. Pause the video, give it a go. Okay, there are your answers. Right, so if you got the answers there and you're quite happy with it, let's move on to actually looking at this three times table from three times one all the way up to three times 10. Now I like to make this on a, what I call a counting stick. I guess this is gonna be my counting board though. However, you can actually do this making cards and you flip the cards up the other way around uh, when you know them, but you'll see what I mean in a second, right? So what's the times table we're looking at? It's the three times table, isn't it? What is three? multiplied by 10, 30, you're right. And what's half of 30? It's halfway, Ooh. 15, if you got it. All right, let's count that. We've got three, 15, 30, your turn. Three. Let's go back the way, 30, 15, three, your turn. Great. Now, what is double three? Three add three. Six. Yep. Can you double six? Double six is twelve. Yep. Can you double twelve? Think about it this way. Ten and two. Double the ten. Double the two. Add them together. Double 12 is 24. So can we count it? We've got 3, 6, 12, 15, 24, 30. Your turn. Very good. Let's go back the way. 30, 24, 15, 12, 6, 3. Your turn. Fantastic. Now, can you triple three? That means three add three add three. Three add three add three is nine. Can you double nine? Double nine. Nine add nine. Might know your two times table. Two times nine. Eighteen. There we go. Right, let's count this then. We've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 24, 30. Very good, let's go back the way. 30, 24, 18, 15, 12, nine, six, three. Now, for multiplying by nine, we just need to take away one three from 30. So that's 30, take away three. It is 27. But there's another way I can know that I'm right. If you multiply anything by nine, the two digits will always add to nine. So three times nine, we're saying is 27. Two add seven is nine. So I always know, I can always check my nine times table to make sure that the answer is correct. Now you've done a really good job there. That's great, but I'll tell you what, seven times table is far too difficult. Honestly, you won't, you won't remember it. You won't remember it. I've taught some fantastic mathematicians that always struggle with three times seven. 
So I'm just going to show you what that one is, okay? 3 times 7 is 21. I'll put a big circle around it. 3 times 7 is 21. Can you say that? 3 times 7 is 21. But don't worry, you won't remember it, okay? You won't remember it. I'll leave it there the whole time. 3 times 7, what is it? 21. It's 21. Right, are you ready to start to get to learn this times table and try to memorise those numbers? Let's go for it then. We've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. What's the times table? 3. 3 times 10 is 30. And half of 30 is 15. Right, let's count up. We've got three, 6, 9, 12, 18, 21, 24, 27, Double three is six. Double it again. We get 12. And double 12 is 24. Right, you ready? Let's go. Three and. Three, six, 12, 15, 18, 21, 27, 30. Now, as I always say, if you need to recap, don't worry, just pause the video, rewind it a wee bit, look at it again, make sure we're getting there. But if you're keeping up, let's go for it. Triple three. Three add three add three is nine. Double nine is 18. You know what I'm going to do? Just to make it a wee bit easier, I'm just going to put wee lines where the numbers are missing. Right, we ready? Let's go for it. And three, six... 21, 27, magic. Right, okay, let's get rid of this three times nine. How can we remember a nine times table problem or anything multiplied by nine? Right, the two digits will always add to nine. So two add seven equals nine. Three times nine is 27. Let's get rid of that then. Okay, get rid of it down here. Three and three, six. 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 27, 30. Very good. Now, I'm going to leave 3 times 7 there. 3 times 7 is 21. Remember, 21. 3 times 7, 21. <sighs> I mean, I guess I could take it off and see if you get it. Well, you remember, though, it's past the 5, so it's like to the second half of the times table. 3 times 7, 21. Sure, sure you got that? Let's see then. Okay, let's rub it off. 3 times 7 is 21. Right, okay. You ready? Here we go. Let's count it. 3 and 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 30. Not bad, not bad at all. Can we go back the way? 30, 30, 27, 21, 18, 15, 29, Three. How are you getting on with that? Remember, you can always pause the video, go back. You can make this yourself. You can do this at your own pace at home as well. Right, just to finish off then, let's do some quick questions. I'll say them. You can shout it out, see if you get it right. Let's go for it. We've got three times two. Three times two is six. Three times ten. Thirty. Three times five. 15, 3 times 3, 9, there we go, 3 times 9, 27, remember the 2 and the 7 add to make 9, okay, 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is... 12. Okay, 3 times 1. That's an easy one. 3, isn't it? Okay. 3 times 6. Think of it as 15 add 3. 18. Mm, good. Okay, 3 times 8. 24. 
four. Okay, that's great. Well done. Well done. Okay, thanks, guys. But wait, what? Three, three times seven. You're not going to remember it. I'm really sorry. Listen, I, I, I do believe in you. I think you'll get there eventually. But right now, three times seven. Nah, you're not going to remember that. Are you sure? Okay, then. Three times seven. What is it? 21. Well done if you said that. Well done. Let's count it up one last time then. We've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Can you go back the way? 30, 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3. Done. Well done, guys. Fantastic work.